imagining that if you're creating music, you're creating the type of music that you want to listen to. And this was that kind of music. It was as if I created it. I think what appeals to me the most about this orchestra is that they've taken a genre of music and Vartan has made it for so hip. It's a poetic, really beautiful, courageous um, heart. Um, that is the Fordon's heart, but it's also all of our hearts. Um, so I just see this heart continuing to uh, explore itself and to express itself. This project is, uh, well, it's, it's like and unlike a number of other projects that have happened here in my studio, uh, in that it's sort of in between the, the spectrum of, of things that happen entirely live, and sometimes entirely spontaneously, versus things that happen one track at a time have live performances but with some layering and, and overdubbing of, of parts that uh, uh, that all then constitute the, the final result that you hear. Um, so it's in the middle of that spectrum uh, of, of recording projects. Uh, so we are in that process right now, kind of repairing some small parts, but it's going great and it's I think we see already the ending, the hori good horizon. Since we've begun, it's, I feel like it's already evolved a lot just by the individual characters that are a part of the ensemble. So it's hard to say where it's going to go, but uh, probably just up and up and up. It's just a great feeling. It's a great feeling being exposed to something in a different way than most people would normally you know, visualize it. It appeals to a wide audience and it's, and it's not, uh, it, the music is not dumbed down in any sense. It, it's like people who like jazz, you know, could listen to it and really enjoy it. People who like classical music can really, you know, dig it too. People that like, uh, even pop music, you know, it's just a really, the grooves that happen with, with the music just really, um, you know, make you want to tap your foot. And, and uh, so I just, I have so much fun with this group. Uh, I think it's evident how much fun everybody's having too. Yeah. Just the yeah. collective sound is mm -hmm. a lot of smiles around while we're playing. There are so many appealing elements of playing with uh, Voce. Um, Vardon himself, just listening to his artistry on the piano and just being around him, listening to the gentle way he speaks, listening to his arrangements, um, listening to his original compositions. Um, for me, it's incredibly appealing and satisfying. Because of the unusual instrumentation and all these sort of unusual elements that are coming together. I just think it's a, uh, 
even for the jazz world, which is obviously known for doing things in unusual ways, I think even for that, this is a sort of novel situation. It's as if music is falling from him. It's, it's unbelievable the way he's creating music. It's simply the way I wake up and I, I uh, get dressed and I walk outside home and I drive to work. Just like that, he creates music and, uh, and it's beautiful. Um, I'm just in love with his music and I wish him all the best and everybody involved. So now that the recording is over, what are the afterthoughts, feelings, overall? Uh, I'm personally feeling ecstatic. Uh, I feel very grateful and honored to get to work with such amazing uh, musicians. And Vardan, of course, himself is also a joy to work with. So I'm feeling thrilled. I'm feeling a little buzzed because I had a little bit of wine, but other than that, I'm okay. And from the music, too. <laughs> and yeah. from the music, too. <laughs> Also, the improvisational aspect of it that um, he gets uh, a chance for all of us to improvise in various songs, um, which is a great thing that a lot of um, chamber ensembles that involve strings don't necessarily get a chance to, to do. Can I add to that actually? Mm -hmm. I just um, really appreciate the, the balance he has that he obtains between structure in the music and like a singable melody and the improvisation and the ensemble and there's um, he there's a clear outline of what he wants from each player but also within that even with ensemble there's so much room for us to express ourselves also so it's really satisfying yes I agree and this is a very big step the recording part and um, I wish um, more people will listen and enjoy Barton's music. It's always a pleasure to have him at the whale. I hope it grows more and more and goes everywhere in the world and I hope um, many more people can hear it and watch it and you know experience it. I know Ryan you came all the way from uh, Korea right for... Yes that's right. Thank you for making the trip. Of course, of course. It was something I've been looking forward to since uh, since the Kickstarter project uh, came to fruition. Uh, so I'm just like really grateful that I could be a part of this. Uh, I didn't want to miss this for anything. Marta and I grew up listening mainly to classical and jazz music. And uh, since we've been kids, my brother and I have been looking for the kind of music that combines the freedom of jazz improvisation and the lyricism of the classical music. During all these years, I watched Bartan play and explore multiple layers of the improvisational music, you know, starting from the most traditional jazz all the way to avant-garde. 
but um, at the end of the day, you know, consciously or subconsciously, he returned to searching to the aesthetics of the chamber music where he could truly express himself and make the piano sing. And um, this is pretty much how the idea of which it was born and I think it's going to be a revolving.